Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This week I'm going to be filming a few of the outfits that I am wearing because I love this time of year. It is the best time of year. It's like not too chilly yet, still a bit sunny, but like autumn is fully on its way. And I can start digging out the snuggly pieces, making some cute little autumnal outfits, but I'm not like too bundled up. There's not too many layers. This is just my favorite time of year. I feel like we're finally past the point where it's like jeans and a t-shirt, which I'm not gonna lie, I do love that weather. Like I've been wearing what I'm wearing today with like a cropped black t-shirt and it has just been the nicest, like most chill outfit to wear and I've really enjoyed it. But I'm definitely enjoying adding more knitwear into my wardrobe at the moment. And by the looks of the weather forecast over the next couple of weeks, basically the closer we get to my birthday, the more it kind of just gets colder and colder. So maybe you'll be able to see that as we go forward in this video, it's just getting like more and more layers, more and more knit Wear. But yeah, really excited to be filming this what I wore in a week. So we're gonna get started with a nice little chill outfit today. I'm just at home getting some stuff done. So this is a really nice chill one. It's great for a weekend and I'm still getting a last little bit of use out of my summer jeans. So I'm wearing this little knitted jumper from New In. I got this last year, absolutely loved it. This color is just such a gorgeous little kind of oatmeal-y, like grey kind of color. It hits at a really good point on me. For those that are new here, I'm five foot two, so I do have like a shorter body. So it's a really, really nice length on me. And I I think if you were taller it'd still be a really nice length as well a really nice crop I've then got my Topshop mom jeans on, which are a couple of sizes too big. They have a lot of room in them, like so, so much wiggle room, but it just means that they sit a little bit lower on my waistline. And I just really love that. They're very, very comfortable. So really great for when I'm like, just doing something casual, when I'm just like at home or just chilling with friends. They're basically a really comfy jean because they're too big. And that's not something I ever would have seen myself wearing as a pair of jeans that are too big for me, but actually these are great. They basically don't really act as mom jeans anymore. They're more like, like a boyfriend baggy kind of style. But I really like that and I'm getting the use out of this before we go into full like deep into autumn slash winter where you know having my tummy out is just not appropriate and way too cold. And I don't tend to wear my mom jeans as things get really cold because I just don't like how baggy these are and then how baggy my jumpers are also. So I'm really getting the use out of these whilst it's still a little bit more mild. And then I have these cute little sliders on. These are from the White Company I am obsessed with these. They are so cute. You could wear them out of the house if you wanted to. I'm not sure if they're actually meant to be like a slipper. I don't think they were in the slipper section when I looked, but I can wear them if I'm just jumping in the car to drive to Ryan's, but they're also just a great around the house shoe. I always actually wear my Birkenstocks around the house and these are a great one because they are a little bit more like snuggly and comfy and a little bit more autumnal than my general Birkenstocks. So yeah, love them. They also are just very, very cute with a lot of my outfits. So I really rate these. I will link everything that I'm wearing as always in the info box and I'll try and put sizes where I can. Yeah, that is what I am wearing today. And then I have my little gold Fendi hoop earrings, some cute jewelry. This big square ring, which is slightly off center, is a very old one that I was given by my nan when I was about 15. And then the ring above it is Pandora and they're just really gorgeous, like real silver. So I can like keep them on all day. I just love the way they look together. So that is my outfit of the day. And then I also wanted to talk you through the fragrance that I'm gonna be wearing for the week. So this is the fragrance that I'm wearing at the moment. It's called Infinite Sky by Estee Lauder. And this is the most deep, rich amber fragrance like it smells so expensive it's one of those kind of perfumes that i'd smell on someone walking down the street and just think that they smell super super expensive and bougie this is the kind of fragrance that i probably ask someone like what they are wearing because it's just one of those ones that is just very very unique but like i said it's an amber based fragrance it's like a lovely spicy amber with szechuan pepper i love pepper in a fragrance it's one of the like recurring things that keeps coming up in fragrances that I like now. It's got a lovely smoky Madagascan vanilla and a smoky leatherwood, which are just such a dreamy combo. So they named it Infinite Sky because it's meant to remind you a little bit of like a sunset. It's got that really like smoky, hazy vibe to it. It is honestly so beautiful. And they actually have eight other fragrances in this range as well. I have four here. Aren't they beautiful? They twinkle so nicely in the sunlight. This is what the boxes look like. They're really, really gorgeous and luxurious. All of these fragrances are inspired by nature's breathtaking moments. So like I said, there are eight in total i have four here and i'm so excited to try out the others in the range as well this range of fragrances is really special because it actually has scent capture fragrance extender technology which basically just means you can wear these for such a long time and honestly these really do last it's up to 12 hours of wear but 
I actually think it lasts way longer than 12 hours. And apparently these have also been proven to evoke feelings from each scent as well, which I just think is so incredible. So this one is actually confidence and sensuality, which I just think is like very appropriate for it. I would actually agree with that. Just gonna close the blinds quickly because I feel like that lighting, that mood lighting might get a bit much over time. And here we go. Now you can see them not in that gorgeous mood lighting, although I was really enjoying seeing the bottle sparkle. So in addition to Infinite Sky, we have Tender Light, which is a gorgeous citrus green fragrance it's meant to evoke feelings of like positivity joy and then we have sensuous stars which is a fruity sheepra fragrance and it's meant to evoke feelings of calm and happiness and then we have dream dusk which is a floral marine fragrance and is meant to be really uplifting and evoke feelings of cheerfulness and i would say this is like the second one in the range that i like i haven't tried all eight of them though so i'm really really excited to smell the other four but this one is it for me this is going to be the one that i'm wearing this week it is gorgeous that spicy amber this is a very Susie fragrance. I also just look absolutely stunning. This bottle looks so nice on my little marble tray in my bedroom. Some of you may have seen it in my getting ready for autumn video. This looks absolutely gorgeous on that. Also, this bottle, it has a magnetic lid and I'm so obsessed with that. Please don't tell me I'm the only one that gets really obsessed with like fragrance packaging. I just, I love a good lid. That's really satisfying. So I'm gonna have a little spritz. I always do like behind my ears slash my neck. I feel like that's where a lot of like the fragrance really like comes out from. I don't know, I feel like that's the wrong word. But I like to put fragrances in areas that get quite like warm. And I feel like those warmer parts of your body really help the fragrance to like lift off of you. I'm also gonna do my wrists, quickly take that off. And I like to do a good spray on each and then let it dry. Gotta let it dry. I actually took someone's advice from the comments. I used to always like dab my wrists together because my mum's always done that. But apparently it like does something to, I don't know if this is true, but I thought it was really fun. It like breaks up the fragrance molecule and basically just means that the perfume's not gonna last as long. But I mean, these last really well anyway. <laughs> you do you. I honestly think you could like fully rub your wrists together and you'd still be able to smell it. These are super, super long lasting. They're actually a really great one if you really want to know that your fragrance is lasting all day. Let's try. I'm going to put my watch back on. My watch hopefully will be linked in the info box. It's basically really hard to get hold of now. You guys went nuts for it and it's basically not in stock. So I will link it if I can, but if not, it is from Amazon. I love it. It's like a Casio watch strap and I think it's gorgeous. So yeah, thank you for coming to my fragrance TED talk. On to the next outfit. Good morning, everybody. I have just been out for a coffee. It was such gorgeous weather this morning. It's like a bit sunny, cloudy now, but it was so beautiful this morning. So I got the chance to wear one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe at the moment. This Zara skirt is just an absolute gem in my wardrobe i really love it i really resisted leopard print for the longest time i'm not a huge leopard print fan apart from that coat in like 2008 from new look which was like a fluffy leopard print coat and i got it on ebay wore it to death i absolutely loved it but really i haven't been super into leopard print since However, it's currently having a big moment and I saw this skirt and I just loved how like the brown tones, it has a, like an olive hint to it. And I think that works really, really nicely with like my skin tone and makes it not like stand out too much. And the fact that the spots are black makes it work really, really well with a black jumper as well. So it works so seamlessly into my wardrobe. I love wearing it with a little brown bag as well. I think all of the tones just tie together really nicely. And to be honest, I really like the mix of the monogram and the leopard print as well. Just really really enjoying it. I've just popped my Veja trainers on with this one and then I have got my Fendi hoop earrings in and then my Raimi necklace. For jewellery I just have some dainty rings on so I've got this one which is from Local Eclectic and then I also have this one from Raimi and then this one is also from Local Eclectic as well. That is it for jewellery. Oh the jumper is from Zara. It's a fairly recent addition to my wardrobe which I'm really really enjoying. It's like a lovely soft light knit so like not a jersey top so like a little bit smarter and also a little bit thicker it'll keep me warmer as we start to go into cooler days it's going to be one of those amazing ones to layer up in the winter as well i've actually been getting so much wear out of this skirt recently i'm really really enjoying it it's super cute good morning everybody i am just popping out for a quick 
little coffee this morning. I'm wearing a very cute outfit for the fact that I'm really not doing anything particularly eventful, but I just really wanted to look cute. But yeah, I love this outfit and I've been very excited to get some wear out of this knit. It's kind of like that sunny, cloudy, you don't really know what's gonna happen. So I've gone for a nice cozy jumper. I've got a body underneath just in case, but I've also gone for a little skirt with bare legs just for some like temperature control. So the jumper is from Zara. You may have seen it already if you've seen, not my last Zara haul, but the one before that. I bought this back in August. So I've been waiting for the longest time to get some wear out of this at the moment. And it's just so cute. And I thought it would work perfectly with like a black faux leather, like croc skirt. I've been really excited to crack this skirt out again as well i loved this so much last year so really excited to rewear this year i've got my little louis vuitton pochette matisse as well and then i'm wearing the khaki boots that i got from zara in the same video i think that i bought this and i just love these boots they're so pretty so just a nice little easy everyday outfit i'm driving and then walking to get coffee and i'm not walking particularly far so this is just a nice easy one for me to throw on as for jewelry i've got some little hoops these are from astrid and me i'll show you closer in a second my necklace is from carrie elizabeth and i just love their stuff this is just a really simple little gold vermil plated necklace with just a little almost like kite shaped like diamond shaped stone in it it's just really sweet and works really really nicely with the simple outfit and then i'm wearing my little square ring with the pandora crown bit on it which is very cute so just to show you the earring kind of close up ish that is what it looks like i think these need a little bit of clean but they're really really cute and then this is the necklace which i just love it's so cute good morning everybody we have got this very snuggly little outfit today so i've gone for a very simple all black outfit with little gold details like some chunky gold details so i've got some misoma hoop earrings in with some misoma chunky gold rings as well i've got two that are like layered up i really really like this little duo they're very cute especially with an all black outfit i think i still have a code for misoma so it'll give you 20 percent off so i will link that if it's still valid i then have this black chunky knit which i believe is from Topshop. i got it last year it's a really lovely one though the neck does come up quite high and i never find that particularly flattering on me but i'm just rolling with it because i really like the autumnal vibes and i love the fit of this jumper it's kind of like a regular length with a very loose fit and i really like it over the top of this midi skirt the midi skirt is from zara it's got quite like a high slit on it which is kind of cute and then i've just got my black asos boots and then my little chanel bag just to break it up and give it some texture this outfit definitely washes me out though i feel like i could do with a couple of layers more bronzer with an all black outfit like this but it is very cute and yeah i've just gone for like a loose wave with my hair today and my lipstick is anastasia beverly hills the liquid lipstick in the shade crush i went for like a warmer pink just to warm the look up a little bit because it is so dark so i just wanted to give myself a little bit more color now that the lights actually settled out you can see this outfit a bit better i'm very excited to be in my knitwear super cute making the most of not having to wear a jacket whilst i still can for like outfits like this just have such a short lifespan so i'm really trying to make the most of it Good morning everybody how are we all doing so this morning's outfit i'm really excited to show you i love this one i've been wearing it so much recently went to stay at the pig the other day and i wore an outfit basically the same as this but with trackies and it's just been a real go-to for me over the past month and i think will continue to be a real go-to for me throughout autumn it's just really lovely and casual but i feel like really really good in it so starting off with jewelry before i forget i've got my misoma hoop earrings in really really enjoying these at the moment and then i've also got my raimi little clover necklace i can't remember what this one is called i just know the bracelet is called the airing bracelet but i can't remember if the necklace is the same name i don't think it is the bracelet is on my wish list i really want it and then i've got my carrie elizabeth necklace on i've got two pandora rings on so one is like a little teardrop shape and i just absolutely love it i love that shape of ring so much and then i've got the little crown on with it my apple watch nothing else really going on apart from that just keeping it really nice and simple i'm gonna do a little spray of infinite sky before i put the rest of my outfit on don't judge me for having jewelry on people can't be bothered to take it off again oh it smells so good doing lots of little sprays because i do not want to get out my jewelry i really like this jewelry oh and then for sunglasses i'm gonna go with these these are yourself sunglasses and i just love them they go really well with this outfit let's take these off a second so we have got a zara black body very standard for me but 
it is a go-to and then i'm feeling really non-bloaty today which is fantastic because i've been feeling very bloated recently this has been the first day in a while where i've been like oh yeah been a good stay and these leather leggings are basically like if you are bloated they are a no go because they're so sheeny like here you can just like tell that you're super super bloated they're not ideal but i love them so much and i think they're so cute and because i'm not feeling bloated today i thought they would be a really nice option to wear i just really rate them especially if i'm wearing like chunky knitwear with them then i've got my converse my black converse which i've been wearing so much lately and then i've got my new cardigan which i am loving i think i've shown it to you quite a few times already by the time you see this video but it is a gem so this is my cardigan it's from house of cb not somewhere i'd normally think to buy a cardigan from okay so this is the outfit and for oh my god i could live in this outfit if i never got bloated ever again i could live in this outfit so like i said the cardigan is from house of cb it's like a long line kind of like maxi cardigan on me but it'd be a midi on you know normal heighted people. Lots of you are very passionate <laughs> about this cardigan. <laughs> I posted this on Instagram from when I went to stay at the pig and I had so many DMs. Apparently a lot of you have had very bad luck with this cardigan and basically had to return it. Apparently it pulls very very easily. I personally bought this cardigan to be just like one of those like at home cardigans that I wasn't really like planning on even wearing outside really. Just like one of those really snuggly at home things. I love it so much that it's obviously not an at-home cardigan. I need to take that label out, that's annoying. So I'm slightly concerned about the longevity of this cardigan, but I would repurchase 100% because I absolutely adore it. It is just the best thing ever. Whether I'm wearing it with like trackies, like super, super casual, or dressing it up, like this outfit would look amazing with a pair of boots, like proper, like chic vibes. This cardigan really does go. So just a pre-warning, lots of people have had a lot of very bad luck with this cardigan, but I really love it. It brings me so much joy, even if it doesn't last me very long. I know I will still wear it, to be honest. It would just be one of those cardigans that's, you know, looking very lived in and well loved. So yeah, House of CB cardigan, AKA the snuggliest thing in life. Chanel bag, because apparently this video is just gonna be the styling up a Chanel bag video. It's really nice and casual and comfy, but it looks so great as well. So yeah, really looking forward to spending the day in this one. I am gonna be so cozy good morning everybody so before i show you my outfit this morning i thought i'd quickly take you through an outfit from the weekend which i feel as though by the time this video goes live this will not be like an outfit that we'll be wearing but we fortunately had some very very good weather and for those of you in warmer climates i still wanted to share this one because it has been an integral part of my summer's autumn transitional wardrobe this was what i wore at the weekend for boundary festival yes the bag was a questionable choice however we were doing festivals slightly differently. You will have seen on my Instagram stories if you saw them. So Ryan was playing. So it's not like festival festivaling like I would normally festival. How many times can you say festival? So yeah, mostly backstage kind of vibes. Like it was super, super chill. So much fun. And I was really happy with my outfit actually because it was actually very... Just pouring down with rain in the morning and then later on was super super gorgeous i feel like that is like september weather really isn't it but i had my zara body and zara cycle shorts on underneath body yes very questionable for a festival did i regret it oh my god yes let's ignore that let's just ignore the context in which i wore this outfit it was such a cute outfit so <laughs> <laughs> we're just keeping with it but yeah zara body zara cycle shorts zara shirt which i am loving you will have seen this from my recent zara haul if you haven't seen that i'll link it at the top of the screen my little porsche matisse which i just love it's just been such a go-to bag for me really over the past couple of months and then i have my converse these are my going not so nice places converse as you can see they are not white white but to be honest i'm still so impressed i've taken them to two festivals now where i've actually fully like worn them and they, they've come out so well. I took these to Colour Clash. So these should be covered in like coloured dust and they're not. I've just been so lucky to be honest. But yeah, this was the little outfit I wore. I absolutely loved it. I have my sunnies as well. Where are they? So I have my little YSL sunnies, I think. And other stories actually do a dupe of these. I'm not sure if they still have them in stock this time of year. They bring them back most years. I actually really wanted a pair not last year, the year before, before I actually bought these. And I was desperate to get my hands on a pair and couldn't. But I'm equally very, very happy with these. I love them so much. But yeah, really enjoyed wearing those. Just felt like a super cute outfit. I don't think I actually, I can't remember if I wore jewelry. My memory is fuzzy. I wore, I know I was wearing these rings. I've been wearing these so much lately, but I actually don't think I was wearing that much in terms of jewelry. It was pretty low key. But yeah, just absolutely loved this outfit. So I wanted to share that one with you today before I get dressed for the day. Okay, so I feel like today's outfit could go either way with you guys, because I 
know some people just really hate circle shorts, but this might be the cutest thing I think I've ever worn or the most childlike because this jumper, this jumper really reminds me of Drop Dead Fred. If anyone hasn't seen it, probably shouldn't watch it. I don't know if it's actually a very good film, but the stripy jumper just always reminds me of that. I always really wanted a jumper like this when I was little. So this jumper brings me a lot of joy, probably like an unnecessary amount of joy. I just always think of mud pies when I wear this jumper. So um, you won't get that unless you've watched the film, which is probably about five people. But yeah, I love this jumper. It makes me so happy. I'm really excited to be wearing it again. And then I'm just pairing it with my Zara cycle shorts and then my Converse. I quite liked the black converse with this outfit just because there's a lot of like black going on here and there got the new bag Hi how are you? It is so cute. I just absolutely love it. I keep having moments like I know that my videos are going out in a certain order, but sometimes I have moments where I'm like, oh no, I've, I've revealed it too early. But yeah, I very recently unboxed it. It's such a special day. I really felt like I should have had like a glass of Prosecco whilst I was doing it in the video, but I don't think YouTube allows that. Yeah, just still so, so buzzing about it. So yeah, really looking forward to styling this up. It's just such a dream. I think it fits in really well with my wardrobe, which is always the sign of a good purchase in my opinion. And I just think it really looks really cute with this outfit because there's lots of little pops of black but then the beige like ties in really well both with the jumper but just like adds a little bit of texture in general i absolutely love that i love the combo of the tweed is this like what would you call this hands tooth what would we call this someone has probably by the time this video goes up my unboxing which i will link will have been live for a long time so someone's already told me what this print was most likely but yeah i just think it adds a really nice texture and mixed with the stripes it's just like a little clash but like a good one we then have my sunglasses because it is a nice day today so yeah like i said just loving these and then i've got some little astronomy hoops in which i'll show you in a second they're really like cutesy for me i wouldn't normally like them but when i'm wearing cycle shorts and trainers i really enjoy wearing like these little cutesy earrings they're just like no one really notices apart from me but they're just like a nice little something and then i've just got my carrie elizabeth necklace on and then i've got charlotte tilbury dance floor princess on my lips changing it up a little bit from my usual liquid lips but yeah i absolutely love this lipstick i'm so pleased that i found it because i lost it for a while and um sad times so these are the earrings i don't know if you can see they've got like little stars on them very very cutesy really for me not something i would usually go for they sent them to me and although i wouldn't have picked them they're so sweet so yeah really enjoying wearing those today also sorry sunglasses are still on don't forget to let me know which outfit was your favorite in the comments i always love hearing which outfits your favorite someone please tell me this one was their favorite okay we are running late and we still need a little makeup touch up but she is ready. She is ready for dinner. It is a lovely evening. There is going to be a very nice sunset this evening. I'm excited. And I have this little outfit on. I'm wearing my little Zara shorts, which I think you will have seen already. This top is an old one from Zara. I didn't love it originally because it came and I think it was tucked in when I bought it on the website. And then it came and it had this little like peplum frill which i have just tucked into this and actually it's perfect you will have seen in my zara haul there was another top like this and i just didn't love it like i love the look of it but practically i didn't love it this one actually fits much better so i found this on my rail i was thinking of depopping it and uh, i'm gonna wear it i'm excited about it we then got my chanel jumbo little heels from june and then my jacket which i'm gonna throw over my shoulders so this is the full outfit really nice and easy just such a go-to for going out, I really like it. And my jewelry is just staying the same for ease. On my lips, I have Anastasia Beverly Hills Naked Liquid Lip, but I still need to top up my concealer. It's not looking cute. But yeah, loving this lip color at the moment. It's especially nice for like, I love it for day, but especially for like dinners, I just think it's a really gorgeous nude tone, like a very nudey nude, but it's like warm, really lovely. But yeah, I love like a real true nude for evenings out. It's just very timeless, something that I will outfit repeat again and again i actually i really wasn't thinking about what i wanted to wear today like i hadn't really given it any thought and just immediately grabbed this i actually might outfit repeat very very soon <laughs> because i have planned to wear this again this week so who knows fingers crossed i do not get past it good morning everybody so today's outfit is one that i need you to tell me if you like because i personally really like it but it's something i've never really worn before like i've never really worn this kind of combo before so i just need you guys to vote in on this one but anyway this outfit is actually inspired by kylie jenner's 73 questions vogue video i really loved her outfit and i thought i'd do the susie benali version which is basically super casual <laughs> it's because i'm not really going anywhere today but i really felt like having something that was that kind of vibe i could have done i have a blazer in this color so i could have really gone for it but 
I'm literally just at home doing a few bits today and packing. So I need to be really comfy because I'm going to be like folding clothes and on my hands and knees, like packing stuff into my suitcase. So I just wanted something really nice and comfy, but also look really cute. So I'm wearing just a like simple crop top from Pretty Little Thing. They do these in so many colors. They're actually really handy and super affordable. And I literally wear them and wear them and wear them and wear them. They're just such a great basic to have in your wardrobe. Much like the bodies, I just really like them. And then I've got this long line cardigan from the white company my black house of cb cardigan also looks very good with this outfit as well but i really wanted that like light tone so it's like a real nod to the 73 questions outfit and then i've got my new look jeans which i just am really enjoying and i do really enjoy them with a crop top which i know is not for everybody but personally for me i do really like it and for when i'm just around the house like this is so nice and easy and if i get a bit too hot i can just cool off really really easily and then i've just got my converse on we'll probably change to slippers around halfway through the day but i always like to kind of like feel ready to go so that if i need to run an errand i'm actually like prepared and i actually leave the house and do the errand rather than putting it off if i have slippers on any form of comfy clothes things do not get done so that is why i kind of wear shoes at home for a lot of you that are wondering the productivity levels are much higher you have to let me know if you like it because i know that this vibe is not really for everyone but yeah i just really liked the outfit if you haven't seen the outfit i'll try and like live Link to the 73 questions video or just search Kylie Jenner Vogue 73 questions the outfit bangs it is great these jeans are also great let's talk about these I don't know if I've talked about them actually you may have seen them already in the autumn transitional outfits video I wore this with a non cropped top so if you want to see the style in a different way definitely watch that video but yeah I've spoken about these a little bit they come in like regular but I actually picked them up in petite because they're like a straight leg but with a split hem so you can see that and because of that I wanted to make sure that they were a good length otherwise they would just kind of really bunch up as soon as they hit my foot so I decided to try out the petite range and I'm so happy I did these are great they do come very very tight when they first arrive but they stretch out really nicely and become a lot softer so don't worry too much if you get them and you're like these are like super super tight because at first i was like oh this is very snug but they really like stretch out and they're like so comfy and a lot like softer now so i'm very very happy with them and they were super affordable so i'll link to those in the info box but yeah that is today's outfit so yeah just like chilling at home today packing for london really excited to get that vlog underway that's going to be so exciting so yeah i'll check in with you guys tomorrow because you're probably not going to get another outfit from me today because i am just going to be wearing this oh i almost forgot to say my lip today is a mix of anastasia beverly hills crush and naked you're seeing me wearing a lighter nude in this video i don't know if i've already said but it will be naked if it's like a peachier nude like this and then crush is like the darker pink and then for jewelry we have my fendi hoop earrings which i just love and i felt like kind of went with the vibe slash the inspo for my outfit and then i've got my raimi necklace and my carrie elizabeth necklace as well good morning everybody we are all packed today ready to go to london we're actually making good time and not late which is such a rarity so i'm very very excited i tried new makeup today and it didn't go hideously wrong which when you're like on a time crunch trying new makeup is like the stupidest idea don't do it people so i've got a new blush on from mac i will try and remember what it's called and pop it in the info box but i really like it it's like very a very autumnal pink and i really love it and it goes really nicely with my anastasia beverly hills crush lipstick which i've got on with the vive rat lip pencil and mac stone as well for jewelry i've got on my fendi hoops and my little raimi like clove necklace which i'm just so enjoying and then i have my zara cashmere jumper my little chanel 19 the new baby good morning how are you how many times can i talk about it in this video i've got my old top shop jamie jeans on which i really like for this time of year they work a lot better if i'm wearing like a baggy jumper than my other top shop like white mom jeans they're a bit too baggy and it just all looks a bit like baggy you know what i mean it's the morning i need another coffee moving on back from when like jamie jeans were super super cropped and i know that a lot of you that were taller really had an issue with these but they were perfect for shorter girls so i love these and i look after them because they're just such a staple in my wardrobe like it's nice having an actual cropped pair of jeans and then oh the lighting is really changing i've got my veja trainers on i have no jacket so let's hope that it doesn't rain on me today maybe i should take an umbrella the weather is looking really ropey 
for whilst we're in London, so I'm a little bit scared, but very excited. We've got a lot of lovely things planned, so I think that will be the next video that you see. So yeah, birthday week is now in full swing. I'm gonna get on vlogging with that. So that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Like I said, don't forget to let me know your favorite outfit in the comments below. Thank you so much to Estee Lauder for sponsoring this video. I will leave a link to the fragrance in the info box below as well, and I'll see you guys again very soon. Love you, bye.